Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 19th, 2021. Well, doggone it. Um, I really didn't expect that we would get any new information from the Fed minutes yesterday, but oh, we did. Um, apparently, there was considerable talk in the committee about tapering and um, the conclusion is that we are likely to taper begin tapering easy money policies this year so after that fomc announcement we saw them bears come in and they got really busy into the close of today so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning marker prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. We have a little bit of turmoil in the market this morning, um, but don't panic. Uh, the world's not coming to an end. We knew that we were overextended and um, that this possibility did exist. So let's take a look and see what happened here. Now, unfortunately, we're starting to see just a little bit of technical damage starting to show up in the index charts. Take a look at the Dow. Um, we broke down below that price support into the close yesterday. Now that's not a very straight line, but you get my point. We broke down below that. And depending on how you want to draw the trend, um, if you draw the trend up through here, we could be testing that trend as support this morning. Um, also notice that we would be giving up some more support levels in this chart if we open uh, down here this morning. But there is some hope that that may recover just a bit before the market actually opens. Uh, cross your fingers. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But as you can see, a little bit of technical damage coming in here. And what's probably worse is the uber bull confidence is probably being shaken here which means some of these price reactions could get extreme should we continue to falter and move lower now let's take a look at our moving averages notice that we are very very close to our 50-day moving average here in this chart it's not out of the question guys that we could see this 50-day moving average challenged and even challenged today so watch that carefully if that were possible. Right now, Dow futures are down over 300 points. And that possibility that we could sink down into here certainly is possible. And let's remember, even though that seems extreme, we want to remember, whoops, I just realized I was on a two-day chart. There, let's fix that. So we are testing that 50-day moving average this morning. So that is one of those places where we need to find some buyers coming into play to hold that level. Because if we were to fail, and we know that we can because we've done it here, these are those shock moves that we have been experiencing here lately in this rally. And so we could fail that 50-day moving average today. We could continue to dip, and it's really going to depend on some of this data this morning. So watch that closely. But it's also possible there is some hope. There is also possible that we could bounce off of this level and try to recover just a little bit. But let's keep in mind, we are so hopelessly addicted to easy money printing in the market, we can probably expect um, some of these withdrawal symptoms to continue to cloud or cause problems in the path ahead. So you might want to be a little bit careful on the race back in and buy the dip because we may not be done with some of these shocks uh, to the market as uh, some of these numbers are starting to look a little bit ugly for us. So watch that carefully. Now let's take a look at the spine. Now SPY also pushing down pretty hard this morning. Notice we broke before the close yesterday. We broke that little price support in here. And this morning we're breaking even lower if that holds through the morning. Keep in mind that we had some price support right through there that we're holding. Now what I want to point out here is there's not a whole lot of support below those levels. If we don't hold here, then you could see that we could have a pretty substantial decline um, in this chart, maybe down into areas like this. 
So that could put a lot of pressure um, if we don't hold the support levels um, in here today. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at those um, averages, notice that that 50 day moving average is a little bit lower. So we don't want to rule out that possibility that SPY could test that 50 day moving average. Notice we've bounced off of that before, but we've also broken it before we bounce. So watch that carefully. Um, those tests of that 50 day moving average are becoming a little bit more frequent and a little bit more extreme on those tests. So one day we will probably break that 50 and stay below that. Is that today? I don't know. But if that is today, then we maybe start that process of lower highs and we'll want to watch for that carefully as we kind of go through this taper tantrum is what they call it. Um, um, we we have this addiction that's worse than heroin uh, to money printing and the market just doesn't like it when we stop printing money and pumping up valuations. Let's take a look at um, the QQQ. Now the QQQ has been kind of struggling along in a consolidation level and I mentioned yesterday that there was about a 50-50% chance that we would either break through the top or break through the bottom. Unfortunately, this morning it looks like um, we're resolving that self to the bottom, at least for now. That could change. There is a little bit, and this is a little bit, of price support right there um, in that chart. But if we do not hold that, guys, um, we want to be looking for some of these um, additional support levels down here. We could um, easily break through that 50 day moving average and notice that we could fall all the way into here. So keep that in mind. When we kind of overextend the market, we get these extreme moves to the downside um, and create some pressure. Now, having said that, there is still some hope and we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, I had suggested and had been suggesting for a while that um, um, IWM was likely to test the 200 day moving average before it broke back above the 50 day moving average. I actually um, played a trade on that, made some nice money um, with that thought process. And notice our 50 day moving average has turned lower. We are turning down here on that 50, creating additional pressure. So not only are we seeing that 200 day moving average, we are breaking it this morning. And what could be interesting is whether or not we hold, see these big spikes to the downside. If we hold those as support, we could bounce right back up temporarily. Um, but with these lower highs, I wouldn't be holding my breath that says that we're going to go all the way back to the top. As a matter of fact, if we hold this support, just to bounce back up into some of this resistance might be the the end result. So watch that carefully. If we break down below this, if we don't hold this level, you want to look below and see that there is a big hole here. We could drop pretty hard if we don't hold that price support. So let's keep our fingers crossed that that is the case. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now this is some of the hope that I was talking about. T2122 has pulled back. Notice that I've got this marked out. Bullish reversal zone. This is the bearish reversal zone here. That bullish reversal zone is coming very, very quickly. Now it's really going to depend on some of the data coming out this morning, whether or not we get a bounce here. But watch that closely because we are reaching a short-term oversold condition. That doesn't mean that we absolutely have to bounce. We have seen times in T2122 where we push down in here and we continue to get bad data and we just keep pounding to the downside. But we want to kind of keep an eye on this because as we reach this oversold condition, this is where we might see those bulls step in and defend. And that would be pretty logical around those 50 day moving average levels. So watch that closely. We may be coming closer to a little bit of support and a little bit of hope of a bounce. And then if we take a look at our T2101, it really wasn't a good sign seeing T2101 shooting up 
a bit on the selling wave yesterday. Um, that's not exactly what we want to see. We don't want to see market breadth expanding in a selling wave. So watch that closely and carefully here today if that continues to expand. Remember, I've been warning that there's a little bit of concern here uh, for some time. And um, it looks like that is starting to play out here just a little bit in the market. So be kind of careful here. And then I've been mentioning this T21 07 here recently this was brought up by one of the members of the room um, and um, just because I have been showing it I want to continue to show it for a little bit noticing that we still we have more and more stocks breaking below their 200 day moving average so uh, the pressure here is on and um, we certainly see those bears uh, being a little bit more aggressive and active than we have for some time. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is another place where we can have a little hope. We're gonna have to keep our fingers crossed here. Right now we have, before the bell, we're going to get jobless claims. Now currently, um, analyst estimates suggest that we will see a modest improvement of about 10,000 um, claims um, less than last reading. If that is the case, if we come in pretty close to estimates, if we come in better than expected, we could see the market bounce and really get active in that bounce even prior to the market open. So watch for that carefully. Um, also, the Philly Fed number is expected to come in a little bit better than the last reading. So those two numbers together could certainly give us the inspiration to have those uh, bulls come in and start to defend. However, we've also seen where we have missed on this number several times in the past. If this number comes in worse than expected, we could easily see those bears pile on here. So keep your fingers crossed. This is going to be kind of an important um, thing to be watching this morning, whether or not we're going to be able to catch that uh, enough bullish news to catch a bounce or if we pile on for that selling wave to the downside. So could be a little bit rough there. Now, one of the things you do want to make note of is we do have a couple other things today, but unlikely to move the market around. And then keep in mind, we're going to have an extremely light day here on Friday. Um, it really nothing for economic news to worry about and a extremely light day on the earnings calendar as well. So we may be left to our own devices and with all of this taper talk and Afghanistan and inflation and all of these things, that path forward in the market is starting to become a little bit more foggy, a little cloudy. There's going to be possibly some more stumbling blocks. So even if we bounce today, don't rule out that possibility that we could continue to fluctuate around through the end of the week. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. On our earnings calendar, we have a little bit busier day than we've had the last couple, um, about 46 companies reporting. Um, and let's keep in mind that um, not a lot of these are what you would consider to be market moving reports. So um, you'll want to keep that in mind. We have um, AMAT, Applied Materials, reporting today. It's looking maybe just a little bit lower this morning at the moment. We're going to hear from like Estee Lauder. Looks like they're bouncing up this morning. We're going to hear from Kohl's little bit of a long-legged doji starting to show up there in that chart, kind of whipsawing around. We're going to hear from Macy's. Looks like we got some bullishness going in there. Um, Ross Stores um, will also be reporting. So uh, a few stocks in there to move us around, but not exactly the kind of things that would move us big. We, we really saw those yesterday with um, NVIDIA after the bell, and NVIDIA started lower yesterday but it's trying to resolve a little bit higher today after the um, conference call bounced back up just a little bit however cisco cisco um, 
didn't provide us a whole lot of hope on, or a whole lot of support, I shouldn't say hope, a um, whole lot of support there in the NASDAQ with it selling off. And then we also got news from Hood that was a um, big, big um, improvement in cash, but moving lower because they said trading is starting to slow. So um, kind of keep an eye on all of that stuff. We've got a lot of things percolating here that could create some damage in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? But before we do that, if you guys could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And hopefully you see these videos are a little bit different. We focus in with no prediction here. We focus in on the charts. We focus in on the issues out there in the market. And that has certainly proven to be profitable uh, for me and some of the folks in Right Way Options uh, trading room because we were able to capitalize on this move to the downside because of that kind of work. And if you guys find these, these videos to be helpful, if you could please click that subscribe button on um, and click those thumbs up buttons and continue to leave those brief comments. It helps these cha the channel to continue to grow. And if you could also do me a favor, click that share button and share this video out on your social media feed. It helps um, more folks Folks see these videos and maybe we can help more people um, um, avoid some of the prediction and hype and everything out there that uh, we normally see um, in social media um, on the market. Let's take a look at, oh, and by the way, thank you to everyone. If you, if you look just below the title of the video, there is two links. Link, one link will take you back to the morning blog. The blog is where you can get the full list of all the notable reports this morning. And just below that, there is a link for buy me a coffee. If you find these videos are helpful to you, you're not a member of hit and run candlesticks or right way options and would like to support this channel, please click that, that link down there. You can buy me a coffee and I don't buy coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I use that money to help improve the channel content. So thank you to everyone who has taken advantage of it and continues to take advantage of that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, a few things setting up. Now you guys know that I have been mentioning stocks like RWM, RWM, inverse ETF, um, I am still holding RWM on an inverse ETF, but I did take a, um, a short position on it as well. I sold some calls against this position. Um, spiking up this morning on this selling here in the market. So you might want to watch that carefully. Um, we're starting to see some of these inverse ETFs pick up. Now, if you want, th this one is not a leveraged ETF. It's just a straight ETF um, against the um, the market itself, or you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of theta decay. Um, if you trade highly leveraged ETFs, those are meant as traders. They're not meant as something to hold. As you guys know, I picked this up as a hold and that hold is certainly paying off um, right now in the market. And there are, are, are others out there like uh, PSQ. Now PSQ is just now breaking some of the downtrends here in the chart. So what you wanna be doing is watching a chart like PSQ. If this rests or pulls back and holds some higher lows in here, you could pick up some PSQ to hedge um, any selling in the NASDAQ and that could certainly uh, be moving up and you don't have to worry about it that big theta decay that you would in some of the highly leveraged inverse ETFs. So um, take a look at some of those. Uh, another one is DOG. Um, I trade uh, currently hold DOG as well as a hedge to the market and you can see that's uh, gaining substantially here today. Still has some work to do. Don't make no mistake here. These are not bullish patterns yet. We're just breaking up off of these bottoms. If we start um, holding above these trends, breaking these downtrends, 
holding up in here, holding these levels and higher lows, then they become bullish and I'll be looking to um, add to those trades if the market does start to roll over. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some other stocks. I have been mentioning Drip um, as a potential um, hedge in the market and a poten potential trade based on oil selling off and we've got oil in decline here this morning pretty sharply declining this morning and as you can see we've got this little uptrend we held support in here and we're looking higher this morning now i wouldn't want to chase drip right here but i would wait for that next rest consolidation or pullback for that opportunity to maybe take that higher now as far as long positions you're probably going to want to look at more secure type trades take a look at stocks like kroger now kroger needs a pullback before you um, buy this position or even think about getting into this position and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell you have to do your own due diligence and decide whether or not the risk of these trades is right for you but please keep in mind that kroger has been in a very bullish pattern and defensive sector consumer defensive stocks are the stocks that are performing quite well right now so you'll want to keep an eye on those they could be the place there's been this rotation moving into these so keep an eye on stocks like kroger keep an eye on stocks like hershey hershey um, now hershey shot up and pulled back and now it's getting caught up in the selling here but we've been moving in this upside move here in this market and still looking good you might want to look at stocks like procter and gamble Proctor pulling back. It's been holding in this nice upside trend. We do have a resistance high to be concerned about in that chart. So keep an eye on it. See if it can perk back through to the upside. Other places are some of the healthcare areas um, and um, uh, vaccine makers like uh, Pfizer, PFE, very strong little parabolic for me but pulling back if it can find a higher low of support there may be some opportunity there um eli Lilly has been very very strong just trending to the upside looking good so there's some charts for you to keep an eye on and i gotta say oracle oracle um held up pretty well yesterday considering the 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 sell-off here in the market i'm getting a little bit of pressure here this morning but you can see it's already trying to bounce back just a little bit may have to for me oracle's going to have to get back up into here and hold and then it gets back into the good graces of of my uh, my watch list but um the way it is right now maybe not so good so just be really really careful um don't be chasing long um, there is that possibility of more pressure and pain as we head through the end of this week because of the talk of all the tapering. Everyone take care. I want to wish you all the very best. Try not to panic today. World's not coming to an end. You may feel like it um, when you're seeing your account um, uh, pulling back, but hopefully you have been protecting yourself and you're on the right side of this move and you're actually making some money like uh, we are over at RWO. So everyone take care. I wish you all of the best and I wish you a fantastic day of trading. Take care. Everyone.